All right, everybody. So I have just completed what you could consider uh, one of the most important shrines in the game. This is literally the luck shrine. Okay, you know how everybody's going about getting lucky dice, which is very important in, you know, just getting legendaries to drop and actually trying to do dedicated farming. Uh, having your shrines done is also very important. Now, this is, uh, you unlock this, um, and I think it's like the fourth zone here. I can just go right over here uh, in the overworld. It's after you get past the, uh, the Karnox wall, uh, you help Buddy get his soul back in his body, or you help, you, get, you help Buddy get his body back. And then after that, you're able to come into this area. This area, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple uh, where you're getting uh, your shrine pieces, except for two spots. Obviously, you get them from uh, the dungeons. Uh, this one little area right here gives you peace. This little spot also has uh, gives you a shrine piece. And uh, on top of that, up there is a lucky dice location, which is always very, very good. Now, the other two are a little bit, a uh, little bit more, I guess you could say, difficult to get. Uh, one is definitely far, uh, really far out of the way. However, uh, the other one, the third spot that you need to go to uh, to build this shrine, which I'm telling you, you're going to need to do because everybody wants to have better luck. It's not like Borderlands 3 where legendaries are dropping like candy. Uh, there's a guy right here. Uh, you just talk to him. You go uh, do a little quest. Or you basically run literally over to this little... Uh, it's a little uh, dungeon that spawns over here. It's in the it's in the top north part of the screen as you can see over there. Uh, I already beat it, obviously. Uh, but you come over here to this uh, to this shrine, or whatever, and then you know you kill all the enemies and basically you pick up this uh, this special sand, and then you bring it back to him. And then what he does is he does this goofy little animation of like making a little sandstorm. And then once he uh, does this little sandstorm, this ledge that you initially uh, up here could not go up on because he causes a sandstorm. It actually changes it into a hill, and then you can come in here, conquer this dungeon, and then you can get the third piece. Now the last piece is definitely the farthest out of the way. It's actually in a total other area over in here. I guess technically it's not in this area. Uh, it's it. Wow. But they got me. They got me. Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted, but you actually uh, would cut through this area. And then because you beat the, uh, the previous area, you're able to actually activate this puppy. And then you bring down the barrier. And then as you can see, uh, this is where the shrine piece was sitting. Uh, other than that, though, I just want to make this quick little video to um, bring this into y'all's attention that if you're going to do any shrine first, uh, maybe you're powering through the story or whatever, uh, I would highly recommend getting this one done. It's very, very quick. You can get it done in probably less than uh, like 40 minutes or so, and I highly recommend it. Everybody wants that luck. Everybody wants that loot. Everybody wants those sweet, sweet legendaries, baby. Other than that, though, hope y'all enjoyed. My name's Cree. I'm going to go beat the story, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.